city of Cape Town, fire department, Joy for speaking. Hi, my name is Monica. Please, can you come? Fire voice, though. I'm just above my house. Uh, it's a big fire. Okay, ma'am, what is burning? Okay, we'll be sending out somebody out there shortly, ma'am. It takes a few seconds to done a fire gear and we on the fire truck and ready for whatever challenges we have to face. You you never get over it type of thing. There's a lot of adrenaline pumping. In route, it's the unknown that is more troubling because you don't know what to expect when you get there. The first thing that comes to mind is the tiredness that you're going to have to expect. Because, you know, mountain slopes are not always reachable. My name is Gregory Carollison. Uh, I'm a station commander. In July coming, I'll have 28 years service as a, as a firefighter. Being compassionate about this job is probably one of the most important qualities you should possess. And that's the only way you'll become a good firefighter. My name is Raisa Mutri. I've been a firefighter for seven years. I injured my back back in 2010, and I had to have an operation. We do have a physical assessment every year, which we have to pass. And so far, since being back on operations, I've managed to pass my physical assessments. The firefighter, to get into the job, you need to possess certain qualities, like be physically fit. Also, you don't need to be scared of heights. So this is all the different types of tests for you to get into the job. Once you get into the job, you, you go to training center and you're on course for eight months. One, two, three, love. Right, it go. Hi, morning, guys. Uh, you know, today we, 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 put, we set apart a, a program about vehicle extrication. Okay, the tools that we have with us uh, would be the spreader. It has a dual capability. The tips of the, of the spreader basically spreads, whereas this part of the spreader actually has the capability to cut as well. I remember it was uh, in August 2014, we went to a call on the corners of Vanguard Drive and um, in two. Good evening, sir. Can you hear me? We're going to help you. We're going to get you out of this. OK. The main thing that we have to do is speak to the person. Once a year that works, I'm here to help. That means a lot to them, and that makes a difference when you come to the scene initially. It was two gentlemen that was in the vehicle. Uh, they drove into a truck. The passenger that was sitting at the back was completely trapped. And what we had to do is we had to go in there and extricate the patient. Now, you're going to slide him down. One, two, three, go. I remember the doctor even told us at the hospital that if we had come a few minutes later, you know, this guy wouldn't have survived. He's, you know, he's back at work and he's back with his family and he's doing so well. Settings, providing breaching. Bye guys, see you next year. Bye. I don't see myself in any other career. I love doing this. Every shift is a new challenge. When I watch the news, then I'm proud for what they accomplished. My daughter brags about her mom being a firefighter all the time. I have to explain to her that I need to go out there and help people. She's only four years old, but she'll understand one day, and I'm sure she will be proud of what I'm doing. These are South African heroes.